Hi, you have face to face with Shell. I hope you're all doing well out there. I know some restrictions are being lifted, but I do know that there are some people who are, are still in the house and still can get out for one reason or another. So I, I hope you're coping well. Do remember though, um, if you are struggling a bit, um, don't struggle alone. There is help out there. And I'll put a link in the description to this video for my contact page on my website where you will find quite a few other agencies that are able to help you. Also, if you have been affected in any way by a burn injury, remember there is the Dance Fund for Burns website and they hold an online weekly chat every Wednesday from 7.30 to 9pm UK time where it's a safe online chat, a great place if, if you or anyone around you has been affected by a burn injury where you can go on and chat about what's maybe happening, if you have any concerns or, or just to get into the community and to get support from other burn survivors or other people who have been affected by a burn injury. But I really do hope you, you are staying safe out there and you are doing well. I hope you are enjoying my travel stories and the next one I want to tell you is from a day where we had an amazing time Again, it was, this will stay with me forever. We were just about to leave France. It wasn't long till we were heading back home. And we had been recommended from someone who was back home. They knew the area we were in and they said, you must go to this theme park if you get a chance. And I'm sorry if I am pronouncing this wrong. It's Pidufu. And... Again, I'll put a link in the description to the video if you want to go out and check, if you want to go over and check out the website. We got a chance to go and we jumped at it. And I'm so, so glad we did. Um, the, the ticket price was amazing compared to what you will pay for other theme parks. And we, we were getting told a bit about it. Now, it's not a theme park where there's roller coasters. It's more of an experience. You, you get a map and we were told by the people who were taking us that it's, it's a must that you really plan your day and you plan where you want to go and what shows you want to see because it is extremely busy. And as soon as one show finishes, you have to just basically grab on to, to the people you're with and just try and get through the crowds as fast as you can to the next show that you want to see. On arrival, it was like being introduced to, to uh, the castle. Um, I'm going to call her a, a countess, greeted us and took us in to this most amazing place. It, it looked like you were coming into a, a ball of medieval times. And there was dancers that seemed to be hanging from the ceiling. And as you got to the end of the hall, you bowed to... I'm going to... I don't know if it's a countess. Let's call them king and queen. And you bowed to them and you made your way into the, the main attractions, into the, the park. It's an absolutely beautiful place. The, the gardens, the fountains, the way it's done is absolutely stunning. The first attraction we went to see was the bird show and I've never seen a show like it. Every attraction it, it tells a story and we were lucky enough to have a French speaker with us who was able to translate what was happening. But to be honest, you, you really don't need a translator or need to know French because you get the gist of what's happening. And the music and the actors, um, 
this was only the first show and I was in absolute awe of what was happening. There was just that my eyes were absolutely everywhere. I think I, I, I sat opened mouth and wide eyed, you know, like a a kid, you know, on Christmas morning thinking, wow. And one of the people who had taken us said, and this is just the start of it. There was other shows that we went to. Um, I don't want to tell you too much because I, if you ever get the chance to go, I don't want to spoil it for you. But I want to tell you how absolutely magical it was. Um, one that will stick in my head was King Arthur. And the round table came up from a lake. Um, and the, the, the actors were, 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 were on round the table, um, or the knights I should call them, and it was just absolutely spectacular. And of course it was telling the story of King Arthur. All the shows were amazing, but another one that, that stuck in my head was the Romans. And you went into the, the Colosseum, they had recreated the Colosseum. And you had actors getting the crowd going. So depending on what side you were on, you had to cheer for your team. And again, absolutely amazing. The, the atmosphere, because they really get you going. And when the chariots come out, again, absolutely spectacular. When we, it was time for lunch, because you can take in your own food, no problem at all. Um, we actually had it in what was a recreation of a medieval village. And again, just that was amazing. And they had little shops with people making all different things and you could buy souvenirs. And again, it, it just like it transported you back. You actually thought you were really in a medieval village. And again, it was done so brilliantly. There are also smaller attractions. Um, one was a World War I trench, and you didn't have to queue for this, um, and you just walked through. And again, it, it was amazingly done. Um, but you do have to remember that they do have live actors everywhere, and you're maybe looking at something else, and um, this World War I soldier just marched past us. But he'd done it in such a way that it was as if we weren't there. It was like it was like you were going back in time and these were ghosts of the, the past. Um, we did get a fright, but it was amazing how the, the actors done it. Another great one was you went into a theatre and you sat in the middle. And at first, I wasn't too sure if it was us that were moving or if it was the stage that was moving as it each scene was being told the stage would revolve very slowly but again it was just so so magical and it, as I said the music and the actors it you actually just get really caught up in the atmosphere I'm one of these people if I go to see a, a theatre show I, it's like no one else exists apart from me and the actors on stage so this for, for me was just absolutely amazing we had a fantastic time and I raved about it for ages once we came back so if you ever get a chance to go, I would highly, highly recommend it. It's up there with one of Europe's top attractions. So as I said, please give it a check out. I will put a link in the description to this video. Head over there and, and see what, I'll, what I'm making such a fuss about. I'll also put a link to the dance fund for burns and to my website in the description so if you want to head over as i said there's a, a weekly online chat for the dance fund for burns um 7 30 to 9 p.m uk time every wednesday and i'll put a few photographs on my website um 
that to the the magical day that was Pied Fou, um, and you can get a, a, a taster of what it was like. Thank you so much for watching and a huge shout out to my subscribers and if you haven't already it would be great if you could subscribe. Um, it, it makes YouTube see the channel a, a bit better and it helps to get the channel seen by more people. I'm trying to get the message out there to as many people as possible. Also, it would be great if you could give me a like and a share. And if you are subscribing, please don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any videos when they come live. Thank you once again for watching. Stay safe and stay strong. And we'll chat soon. Bye.